Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to use the updated version of one of my favorite programs, which is Handbrake. And Handbrake is an open source video converter and compressor. And what it'll do is it'll take your video files, it'll optimize them for web streaming, and compress the file so that you get a much smaller file size that loads quickly and still looks great on the web. To give you an idea of what you can do with Handbrake, we're going to start with a video file that I created in Camtasia and the file size is 174 megabytes. And after we run it through Handbrake, the file size will be less than 6 megabytes. So we're going to be going from 174 megabytes to, down to under 6. I'm going to show you how that works. First thing you want to do if you haven't already done it is download the latest version of Handbrake. And you can find that at handbrake.fr and there's a download link right here. But when you get here, if you're running Windows 7 or Windows 8, 64-bit version, don't download this version. What you want to do is click the Other Platforms link, and on the Other Platforms link, you'll want to download the 64-bit version. This will allow Handbrake to tap into the power of the 64-bit operating system on your computer. Once you've downloaded it, you'll click on it to install, and it installs fairly quickly. Once you have it installed and you start it up, it's going to look like this. And to run it, what you'll do is you click Source, and you choose open file and then you find the file that you want to open in this case I'm going to open an mp4 file that I created with Camtasia now Handbrake will open many different file formats including the m2t files from high definition cameras and WMV and uh, many other file formats so we're going to open that and then once it's open what we do is we choose our destination file which is right here so I'm going to click browse and what I typically do is I choose the same file name but add the letters HB that tells me that I've run this through Handbrake so I add HB right there and click save. Now if you don't do anything else you can just click start to run it but that's not going to optimize it for the web. There are a number of presets here that can do that for you but let me show you the preset that I use. Now you see that I've created a user preset and I'm going to click that to choose that preset. My preset the first thing I do is it puts a check in web optimize. It chooses the container to be an mp4 under audio, it sets the audio to be a mono audio file. Now, this is good for the web, especially for screencasts. I set the codec to be AAC, the bit rate to be 48, and the sample rate to be 48. On video tab, I set the quality to be 26. Now, if you want a higher quality, you can move the slider down to the right, down to about 22, and it'll give you higher quality. But you really won't notice much of a quality difference, but it will make a difference in the file size. And then on video codec, I set H264. And frame rate, I either set at 15 or 12, depending on the file that I'm using. And that's all that I set there. And then I come over to picture, and on picture, this is where I make a change. Because I'm putting this on a web page, I want that to be 640. And I want it to, the anamorphic to be loose, so always make sure that's loose. Now that you have these settings, what you can do is you can add that as a preset. Or if you've made changes, you can click Option and choose Update Selected Preset. So there's one change that I suggest you make to Handbrake before you start using it, and that's to go up to the Tools and choose Options, and on Options, choose Output Files, and down here where it says MP4 File Extension, the default is Automatic. I prefer to set that to always use MP4. If you don't do that, some of your files are going to come out M4V, and those may not be web ready, so I set mine to always use MP4. To save that setting, all you have to do is click Close. Now that you've made all the settings, you click the Start button. And Handbrake will go through and look at your file, and then it'll compress the file and optimize it for web streaming. If you're running a 64-bit processor, it'll run fairly quickly. In fact, we're converting a four and a half minute video right now, and it's already half done. It'll take it about 30 seconds to do the full conversion. Now the conversion is completed. It only took it about 32 seconds. We can view the video if we like, but let's go over and look at the file size of that video. Again, we started with 174 megabytes, and now it's down to 4.9 megabytes, which is a huge reduction. More importantly, it is optimized for web streaming and fast starting, which means when you put this file on the web and it's viewed in MP4 format, what will happen is the video actually starts playing before the entire file is loaded. Now, to see what it looks like, we can click on it. Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to... And you can see that our video looks great. So again, that file started out as 174 megabytes. It's now down to under 5 megabytes. We did all this using Handbrake, which is an open source and free video transcoder. And it solves lots of problems with MP4 files, AVI, WMV, and video files from your cameras. 
Anyway, you can find a handbrake at handbrake.fr. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find more tips like this at www.bmyers.com.